Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech, and today I'm showing you how to make animation smoother in After Effects. So, uh, some of you might already know that I've been doing lots of motion graphics lately, and um, I'm going to show you basically what I do to make them look a lot better and smoother. Trust me, this is a very important technique, whether you're doing intros or um, transitions or motion graphics, then this will be very helpful and beneficial to you. Um, so basically, you guys can see, as I've done, uh, some motion graphics in the past, or just recently I've started learning it, um, but this has really helped. So yeah, um, basically I have a 10 second composition set up here, and a project, untitled project, um, but yeah, so we're just gonna, for this, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna create a new solid um, that just comes in as like a little slide transition, so basically how I'm gonna do this is using keyframes, and I go position, and have it uh, about I think negative 1000 is perfect um, and then we have it back in the middle and here we have our little animation right so that's that's that right does that look perfect no this can look a lot better um, so see how it kinda just looks like a train I guess like it just keeps going the same speed very very boring we want to make this kind of whip in, snap in, like make make these little animations have a little bit of emphasis on them. And one way we do this is just, this this won't do it instantly, but this is one of the things you have to do first is by creating an easy ease effect. So select both keyframes, right click, click keyframe assistant, and then go down to easy ease. So basically, we'll look now. Now, not a huge difference. Some of you might not even see a difference, but basically, you can kind of notice that it's speed, it slowly regains speed at the start and then slows down towards the end. Um, yeah, unlike its original, so this is after, and this is before. So yeah, there's a little bit of a difference. But once we've done this, the next step makes a much bigger difference, and this is something I use very effectively, I think, in my animations. Um, so again, select both keyframes and go to Graph Editor, and then you'll see this, and this this defines the movement. So, as I said, it comes in slowly, hits its peak, which is right in the middle, and then slows down. All right. So, I like to personally. This is what I like to do. I like the animation to kind of have it like whip in and then slowly ease out. And so, how you do this is click on the bottom here, grab this little yellow dot, and drag it back. And you can see that. It, phew, whips in and then comes down and slows out and we're gonna pu pull this out even more and now see how that does that we might pull that out even more see what it lo yeah look at that okay so it comes in really quickly and then slows down and look how much smoother that is than the previous so 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 much better it's really really good um, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say about making animation smoother in After Effects. Um, but since this is a short tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you um, how to have like a little pop-up effect. Um, so if we just put a text that says, hello, that's not what I want. Um, those, those, those are terrible colors, honestly. No, shoot. All right. He's white. Right, so this is just middle of the screen. Use the align window. Trust me, that helps a lot too. Um, okay, so this comes in right as it's about to finish. What we're gonna do is set this scale. So go to the hello layer, and click scale, keyframe it down to zero. So remember its size, which is thirty-eight point five. And then a little while later. Set it back to 38, 38.5. And then right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Um, there it is. Now that doesn't look good. So what we're going to do is select them both, go to graph editor. Which we might make it a little bit longer too. And we're going to make it whip in in the same effect. Come in slowly at the end. See that? All right, so that's that's it there. So it's hard to see, so I'll just render it out and play it on the screen now. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And if you want to get even more special, create another keyframe and make this 38. 
No, that's too much. That's too little of me. And 37. Alright, and that'll affect, that'll make kind of like a pop-up effect. Comes up and goes down, settles down. So I really like that. And you can even graph edit that a bit, so it follows the same trend as all the others. So this is our final animation. That's really clean to me. That looks really nice. You could even add a line that pops up. But yeah, I'm not going to go into that today. This is just a basic tutorial on how to make animation smoother. And I've done that in two ways. So in terms of scale, and then make it smoother by making it like bounce back. And then also having this with the graph editor and easy ease. So yeah, these are some pretty common ones. Also, you can add uh, motion blur by just selecting that. And now it has a little bit of motion blur. Um, but yeah. So whatever you guys want. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you. Um, it really, really did help me when I first started. And uh, yeah, um, I'm probably going to do more of these soon. So thanks again for watching. I hope it helped, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech. Today I'm bringing you my review on the Case Co Sono earbuds.